So for many of you who didn't know, I actually worked for Department of Children and Families Protective Investigations and Services for about 16 years. A large segment of our population was the homeless community. Now, starting October 1st, they pretty much criminalize being homeless. Let me explain. If you are a homeless person and you are sleeping on a bench, on the beach, on the sidewalk, any public spaces, you will be arrested. Now, this law exists because of the Republican supermajority and because we have a cruel governor named DeSantis. To make matters worse, each county is responsible for housing the homeless. Now, DeSantis has not provided any state or federal money to help house the homeless. What he has done is allocate $30 million to enact this law in each county and to provide the homeless with mental health and substance abuse care. Perhaps, DeSantis, if you didn't decline Biden's federal money for Medicaid expansion, we could have used that money to help the clients get individual counseling, psychiatric care, and a care manager that will help stabilize them, help them with jobs and resources and shelter. So you refuse that money on our behalf for the state and you refuse to give money to the counties that needed to house these individuals. And you really think that mental health is gonna cure all. Now we have to take care of three basic needs, food, water, and shelter. I think it's pretty much a piss poor joke when you say you're gonna give Orange County or a county like Dade County $600,000 to help with the homeless, which would only be to enforce this law and provide them mental health. Piss poor. Being homeless is not a crime. And our county jail is not a solution. It does not provide housing. Who's making money off of this? Now, a vice president from the homeless program said that the law is too focused on the minority of the homeless with substance abuse problem. That is not the majority of people that are being homeless. Currently, the people that are mostly being homeless are people that can't afford to pay rent, the domestic violence victims, the veterans, the elderly, and the disabled. Because of this law, you're going to make it more difficult for people to engage in services. Please let me know your thoughts. You guys have a blessed day.